Hello guys and welcome back to another tiny tutorial and in this video I want to show you how you can create those little holes here in a mesh with a very simple trick. So the first thing we have to do um, is to make the mesh where we want to create those holes in a dyna mesh. So if you don't have this already you um, can just go to DynaMesh and you can go to the Geometry section and then down to DynaMesh. And then you can just click DynaMesh, make sure that the resolution is high enough. Um, also, when you don't want the um, whole mesh in just one mesh, like it will merge the um, bones here and the wings together. If you don't want that and you want still have different kind of subtools, then just click the glue button here and then you can click DynaMesh. And now you have DynaMeshed your model. And what we have to do now is going here to our IMM primitives. They're a default brush in ZBrush. Click that. And then you can just choose from one of these. I will just choose the insert cylinder. And what we have to do now is you have to click the Alt button and then drag out the primitive. And you can see that when you push the Alt button, the primitive will be inverted. You see that? You can still move it around, make it bigger or something. Make sure that the primitive um, comes through both sides because we want to make a hole, right? If you don't see the primitive pretty good, then you can go down here under display properties and click the double. And then you can see um, in a hole. And this is better when you just um, place this and make it bigger and, you know, just place it in a right direction you want to and then you can click it away again and the only thing we have to do now because it's dynameshed we can only just put it out and you can do that by clicking the control button and just drag it once so the whole mask will gone and then do it again and here we go we have a beautiful hole we can work with Right, and you can just pull and push whatever you want to. You can just do it again. So go to primitives, click the alt button and drag it out. And then you can just move it around, make it longer. So you can be sure that the um, primitive is on both sides, right? And then you only can click once twice and you have your hole and one little thing when you are dragging out IMM primitives in general and you have the solo mode on then um, the other subtools will just disappear when you drag it on I'm not sure if this works now yeah here so every time you're dragging out um, a primitive it doesn't matter if it's inverted or not the other subtools will just disappear so it's better when you turn off the solo mode so that wouldn't happen and uh, yeah I hope this helps because this is a really really easy technique to do little holes in your mesh and I hope it's useful for you and just try it out by yourself 